Johann Heinrich Pestalozzi by Helena Reed. Johann Pestalozzi is known as the father of modern education. He had great influence and a huge impact on the development of educational learning. He was a writer, an educational reformist, and a social justice reformist. He believed everyone was capable of earning an education. He advocated education of the poor and teaching methods to strengthen each child's own abilities. He believed children should learn through the use of material objects and their own experience. He believed children should follow through with their own intuitions and in building their own conclusions. Background in Education Pestalozzi was born in Zurich, Switzerland on January 12, 1746. Um, at five years old, his father passed away. He was then raised by his mother and faithful maid. Um, as a child, he was socially awkward and lacked practical abilities. This was the result from intense love and devotion by his mother and maid. He was very sheltered and had limited opportunity to interact with other children. Um, but this whole experience for him led to later interest in his life. Um, so he knew the importance of practical training and socializations uh, for a child to be successful, but he also knew the importance of love and affection. Um, so around nine years old, he started school. Um, despite starting school so late, he successfully finished. He had then enrolled to Zurich University, University for Ministry and then for Law. And during Law, he uh, found his passion for education. Pestalozzi, Pestalozzi's first educational experience. Um, so after law, he uh, took up a small piece of farmland um, and became a farmer. Um, he turned his farmhouse into a learning environment, um, a school. Uh, he called his farmhouse Newhoff. Newhoff was a house for the poor and became a school and a home for approximately 50 people. He wanted to provide the poor with um, shelter and provide a learning environment. Um, he wanted the children to be productive. He would give the children um, farm work chores. Um, and in return, he would teach reading, writing, and have them memorize passages. Uh, unfortunately, this experience experiment failed um, due to lack of funds and many responsibilities. Um, though through though he endured the whole experience and learned that children need security, safety, shelter, and genuine affection. So this was really um, a great learning experience for him. Um, learning with head, heart, and hands. Um, he wrote the book, How Gertrude Teaches Her Children. In this book, um, he explained his new educational ideas and ways of teaching. Um, he stressed that there should be a balance between head, heart, and hands. Um, the head, intellectual knowledge, heart, moral and religious education, hands, physical and te technical education. Um, through developing all these areas, one becomes a whole. Um, this book became very popular and spread all throughout Europe and word got out of his educational ways. So he was very popular. And also in this book, um, he talked about his educational ideas, which are movable letters to teach spelling and reading, visual and tactical aids to teach math, the use of slate and slate pencils to fix corrections, encourage group and oral answering, Answering um, exercise activities, constant interaction between teacher and student, and having a family feel setting, which these are all methods that we use today. His method of education. Um, children should first learn to observe, correct their own mistakes, then analyze and describe the object. The child should start with simple objects and simple ob observation and build toward more complex and abstract things. So um, on the pictures that I have, um, I have a group of children um, just doing a simple activity, um, using their own imagination, their own creativity, um, but they're also observing and learning. Um, they're painting, um, they're all interacting. And then the second picture I have, um, the child 
these younger children playing with colorful blocks and building. So it's really, they're learning, they're doing simple activities and going, um, working up toward the more complex activities. And really, these are uh, fun activities for children to do. Uh, Yerndon, uh, 1805 to 1825. Yerndon was Pestalozzi's big project. He started an in institution for children. Um, he had high hopes. Um, he was right. Yerndon was completely successful. He had spent 20 years focusing on secondary education and teacher preparation programs. Um, this was actually the starting point of teacher licensure and what teachers teachers have to achieve to become educators, like um, certificates or cred credentials. Um, Yernin was a famous institute. Um, this is where all educators, philosophers, and gov government leaders would all come to visit and share ideas. Um, Pestalozzi died in eighteen. Uh, Pestalozzi died in eighteen twenty seven. Um, at the age of 81, he was the founder of modern education, and he once said, my life is devoted to education of the poor. This is what I seek and nothing else. He was very successful. Impacting early childhood today. Pesalazzi has impacted early childhood edu education today by developing a safe, family-filled, warm learning environment for children, developing concepts of teaching, teacher training with certificates and credentials, Curriculum innovations like group work, field trips, grade levels, ability grouping, allowing individual differences, teacher and children, teacher and student relationships, education and home connections, importance of physical activities um, like running, painting, building, drawing, etc., and hands on learning and observation. Uh, Pestalozzi's idea of education and learning has had massive influence on education today. Um, by the interests and needs of each individual child. Thank you.